Hi, I'm Laura Lynn Eschner with All the Arts for All the Kids Foundation. And today we're going to be making our very own envelope books. Envelope books are actually made out of envelopes and we're going to glue them all together and they're going to turn into this really cool, fun book that you can put things in and write stories about. So first step, super easy and you can use any size envelopes. They just need to have a flap at the top. So you're gonna take an odd number of envelopes I'm going to just do an example for you with three envelopes. You're going to put them down on your piece of paper, on your, on your table, and you're going to then take your glue stick and you're going to glue the flap of one to the back side of the other side, other one. So you're going to pretend like you're just gluing your envelope but instead of shutting it, you're going to glue it to the side that you would do the address on and just match it up so that it goes like this. You're going to do that for an odd number of envelopes, so I'm going to do one more just to show you. So you've got three envelopes. Odd numbers you remember are three, five, seven, nine. So you could make it a really big book if you wanted to or you could make it a very short book totally up to you. So we've got three envelopes glued together so that the flap is on the back. I've used colorful um, glue sticks so that I can see where I've glued and it'll dry clear. So then what you do is you turn it into an accordion so that it makes it look like it could be like so it goes like that so that there's a flap and an opening on the front part and the back side is just the side where you would put your address. So, accordion book with just envelopes. Once you've got the book structure all set up, now you get to be a creative artist. This is your job. All kids are creative, and your job is to think creatively. Don't let any ideas in your mind say no to you. You get to decide what you would like to do. I'm gonna show you some examples and some ideas, give you some ideas, and then you can choose which ones you wanna go. Okay, so you're going to take three envelopes. You're gonna put the address side down, and you're going to glue with your glue stick the inside of the flap all the way around it. And you can see, because I'm using colored glue, where I've been doing the glue. Then you're gonna take the address side of your envelope and put it down on your flap and rub, rub, rub. So you're just the tricky part is just be sure that you try and match the fold, where so the edge of the envelope, the one that you're gluing on, matches the fold, lines up with the fold of your first envelope. Then you're going to take your next envelope. You're going to glue, glue, glue. And the cool thing about colorful glue sticks is that they dry clear, so you don't ever have a problem. And you're going to line up with the fold. And rub 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 okay once you've got all three or five or seven or nine envelopes then you're going to turn it into an accordion so i'm gonna but and by accordion i mean that it folds back this last one will fold backwards so it goes like this and then you end up with a flap that opens like that so that all of your envelopes are all stuck together ready to make a book you can put all kinds of cool things inside of these envelopes and then you're ready to make, do your artwork part. Okay so what we're going to be doing for our art concept today is something called unity. Unity means something that is the same in all of your pictures that holds your whole piece of artwork together. It could be the same shape, it might be circles that are different sizes or it might be thick lines or a similar color. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding in borders in all of our pieces of artwork. Borders are the designs that go around the outside edge. And these are just a few examples of borders that you might want to add in that will unify each of the pictures that you do for each of your envelopes. So let me show you some examples of some of the envelopes too. And this one, this one is called leaves. And in this case, this is, I, we gathered up some leaves, and it says some leaves are orange and red and brown. And you've got the pictures of the leaves. You've got actual leaves. If you wanted to, 
you could draw pictures of the leaves instead of doing the leaves, instead of gathering up the leaves. This one has sour grass leaves and they're just little tiny, they're so cute because they look like hearts. And I bet you've seen sour grass leaves before. They're just teensy tiny little hearts that are stuck together. They're very, very fragile. This one has eucalyptus leaves that were gathered. And this one has some leaves that are called juniper. And butterflies and moths like to eat juniper leaves. But look at how different these leaves are from the eucalyptus leaves. So leaves are all different. You could gather your own. You might want to do shells. You could do great pictures that you love. But the secret to all of this one is, and I left the, the beautiful, fragile um, sour grass leaves out, is to do something that unifies all of these. You could have done a border around the edges. This one has lots of black outlining and then colorful shapes on the inside. But you get to be the artist and you get to decide whether you want to keep your treasures, what treasures you want to gather up, you could do it that way. Or, as another idea, you could make it as your very own piece of artwork that is a long, this one's a long book, and it's, this one is a love letter to the earth. So it says, Dear Earth, I love the way trees dance in the wind. And then there's a picture of trees dancing in the wind. And this one, with this one, all of them have borders. And in this case, they're all the same borders. I'll leave the pictures out for right now. This one says, I love the colors the sky becomes when the sun sets into the ocean. And so you've got a picture with the same border that you get to draw. Now you could think of your very own love letter to the earth if you'd like to. Think of your favorite, favorite things that you absolutely love. And then you think of something, the secret to making these stories really good is to think of something specific. So it's not just that you like birds flying, but you love the way their wings flap, or you love the way that they soar and glide, or kettle, which means going in circles. Sometimes you see hawks flying on the airflow. So it's up to you what thing that you decide that you wanna write as a love letter. You could do it to somebody in your family, you could do it to somebody, your friends, and it doesn't have to be a love letter, it could be a like letter. I really like the things that you do for somebody. So it's totally up to you. Think of what you want your unifying thing to be. In this case, this one was, I love to watch hawks when they land on a branch, but all of them have, all of the pictures have borders around them and it's the same border. The outside of the envelope also got decorated and the title of this book is Dear Earth. And then you get to be sure you put who it's by, by, and then you get to write your name because you are not only the artist, but you are also the author. Now, because you are such a creative child, you could also decide rather than, you could have the pictures on the outside and then the stories or the love letters or the sentence on the inside. It's completely up to you. And, it, and you, there's so much room for creativity in this, kids. And this is one where you really get to decide what it is that you love and be very specific and you get to think of the most wonderful language and words your favorite words it could be about your favorite words and you'd illustrate them too so again our art concept is unity the unifying thing that you could use but you don't have to use is different borders but it's completely up to you you could use lines you could use shapes something that's the same in each of yours so you get to be the author and the illustrator of your very own, very simple envelope book. When you make your works of art, you can use markers, you could use crayons, you could even do creative cut and paste. Creative cut and paste is where you just take your scissors and you draw with your scissors and you cut out whatever object it is that you want. This is kind of fun for the envelope books because you can put your cut, creative cut and paste inside your envelope and you can fold it all up so when it comes out you have a whole bigger creature on the inside that so it's a really fun one that really so you can read your story to people and then have the characters come out and then you can fold them back up really carefully and put them back inside their envelope book last thing that i want to show you that's super fun is when you want to close your envelope book you can take a 
piece of ribbon or yarn or even an old shoelace or some twine and you just shut your book up like that you put it down and then you just tie it like you can wrap it just as if it were a package or a present so have fun be creative you are all creative kids and i know you're going to do a great job with this and i hope we get to see the things that you make you can make lots and lots of books you could make a whole library of envelope books have fun kids Thank you.